New at 11 and turning to the state house. We're learning more tonight about our state's top officials 2024 goals. Our Mary Green shares them with us and tells us how critics are responding to the state of the state speech. In his state of the state address, Governor Henry McMaster reiterated some calls he's been making to the General Assembly, like raising the starting pay for teachers statewide, putting more money into state reserves and giving the governor the power to appoint judges. But some of McMaster's most pointed remarks of the evening were directed at unions that may be looking toward South Carolina as grounds for growth. Our prosperity and that of generations of South Carolinians to come face a clear and present danger from the big labor unions. The governor's words come amid a fight that's gone all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court over union activity at the Port of Charleston. We will fight. Ladies and gentlemen, we will fight all the way to the gates of hell and we will win this battle. During his speech, McMaster welcomed to the State House the leaders of several companies that have pledged in the last year to invest billions of dollars and create thousands of jobs at new facilities in South Carolina. But with that growth in industry and in population, the governor also acknowledged a concern shared by other state leaders that South Carolina's power generation capacity is not enough. We know that we will need more. The question is, how much power will South Carolina need? And another is, how will it be produced and transmitted? The governor renewed his major spending request for lawmakers in the next budget, including a proposal to put half a billion dollars toward repairing and replacing aging bridges. Continued big, bold, and transformative investments are imperative. McMaster is also calling on lawmakers to enact a major restructuring in how millions of South Carolinians access health services by consolidating several state agencies into one. A recent study found the state's health and human service structure is the most fragmented in the country, and the governor says it's hurting South Carolinians. Too often they fall through the cracks of a system that does not coordinate, communicate, or collaborate. That is not acceptable in our state, ladies and gentlemen. And McMaster yet again echoed an entreaty he's been making to the legislature for well over a year now to enact tougher penalties for people who illegally carry guns, like those with stolen guns or felons who carry weapons despite being legally barred from doing so. And during this last year, it has become an almost daily occurrence for an innocent South Carolinian to be shot or shot at by a career criminal who should be behind bars instead of roaming our streets with virtual impunity. After the governor's remarks, Representative Roger Kirby of Florence County delivered Democrats rebuttal, decrying the negative outcomes he says have resulted in South Carolina from quote, one party rule without accountability. We respect and appreciate our governor, yet we face many daunting challenges which will require Democrats and Republicans working with unity of purpose. We can return to a time when ideas were debated and not dictated, but we need your help. In closing his remarks to the legislature and to South Carolinians, the governor delivered a similar call for civility and comedy. And let us set our state on a course that will provide the opportunity for prosperity, success and happiness for generations of South Carolinians.